hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started here i'm using 1080 by 1080 for social media post so let's get started the first thing now i'm going to copy this color code for the background and this is the font i'm going to use and other text now go to your solid column then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to draw a red angle over here And we turn up this one why are we apply shape over here something like this then i will go back to my background and i'm going to bring this image here then scale it out a little this way is okay then reduce the opacity to 70 something like this then go to your filter then blur gaussian blur so this gaussian blur now i'm going to use 4.0 4.0 then click ok then something like this then after this one i'm going to select the second background image which is this one import it then you bring it down scale it a little then go back to your blur then select your gaussian blur then i'm going to blur this one 8.2 8 8.2 then you click ok after that apply your layer mask select your gradient to then i'm going to change this one so black and white then click ok now you can blend it something like this okay so then the first one apply your layer mask select your grid to while you blur you blend the top here and the bottom here something like this Then we move, import this one. Okay. Then this image now, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. So you can see this is the outcome of it, overlay. Then after this one, then I'm going to import this one here. Then right click and flip it horizontal then take it up over here and reduce the size somehow like this then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and we are going to blur the edges here like this okay then after this one go to your blending mode and change it to overlay then and the opacity reduce it to 80 then leave it this way then after this one the next one i'm going to import then i'm going to import this one and i will re rotate it this way then I will change the blending mode to screen something like this all right so having done this one now the last one I will do then I will bring this oil here then i will position it over here then click ok and i'm going to change 
the blending mode to either overlay or screen then i'm going to use overlay here instead of a soft soft light i'm going to use overlay then having changed it to overlay then apply your layer mask select your brush or press b using the keyboard this is the brush now i'm going to clean up all this area i'm going to clean it up then clean all this area okay then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take it up like this by reducing it then i will position it around here and bring it down a little this way then click ok all right so i will leave it like this for now so while we continue the other thing then if there is any adjustment then we will apply it later all right then this one drag it over here and reduce the size it's okay like this then i'm going to change the color then by copy this color over here okay then having done this one the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to import my church logo then reduce the size then i'll position it over here then zoom in okay so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to to bring in my test so i will copy this one and the font i'm going to use here is acrobat font then select your test tool or you press t using the keyboard then Ctrl plus V to paste and I'm going to reduce the size then take it closer over here and then you press OK all right then the next one I'm going to duplicate this one Ctrl plus J to duplicate and I will drag it over here then select your test to while you highlight it then come over to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then position it somewhere here. Now I'm going to increase or to open the character spacing. Something like this. Then position it around yeah for now if there is anything we will made an adjustment later all right so the next thing i'm going to do now then on this one i'm going to apply a drop shadow so on this test now then you can see the distance is 5, the spread is 4, and the size is 7. Then the blending mode is multiplied and the opacity is 100%. Then I will leave it like this and I will click OK. Now right click to copy the layer style, then come over to your search name, then I'm paste the layer style. Done. The next one, then select your test tool and I'm going to type special, then increase this font. Okay, now what I'm going to do now after this one, then the next thing, then I'm going to change the font then to the font here call of OPS duty then I'm going to 
my font here and I will select the font the font is here so I will select the font then after this one then I will go to my layer style let's go to our bevel and emboss so here you can see inner bevel then chisel hard and the depth is 511 and the size is 4 okay after this one then we move to the contour so this is the contour i'm using here all right then let's go to the inner shadow then the inner shadow i'm using multiply and the opacity is 35 angle 90 then the distance is 4 the shock is 0 and the size is 8 then let's go to our gradient color and the gradient color is this this is the gradient color i'm using and the code is in this document here okay so this is our test you can see and this is the color code for the gradient so you can see it here now i'm going to click ok on that so after this one now so what i'm going to do now i'm going to close the space a little by minus 20 then click ok why are we increase the font size a little bit all right now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring it down this way then select your test to highlight it then go back to your test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then you will have something like this now i'm going to select the two tests why i will reduce the font size then let it be okay like this all right now the next one i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring it down then select your test to highlight it now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste it then and i'm going to use the font inglad signature then go back to your font and i'm going to select the font here england signature so you can see it here now i will move this one and i will position it around here it's okay then zoom out to see the outcome of it then you can now zoom in ctrl plus plus now i'm going to select these three test here and i will drag it down a little something like this then click ok then on our layer in fact we are not done yet so sorry i rush then we are going back then we are going to apply our outer glow our outer glow so then on this outer glow then also make use of this setting here the outer glow then the spread i mean the opacity is 100 percent so you leave that one there and the blending mode is normal then the size is eight the size is eight the spread is zero then you leave the rest and on this one the drop shadow then is still the same thing we used before so five four and seven so that is the drop shadow then i'm going to click ok then right click to copy the layer style 
come over to this anointing then you paste it also to the special then you paste it then all we have it here now all right so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring our image then i'm going to import this image then reduce the size and drag it down it's okay like this then zoom out to see the outcome of it then i will leave it this way then zoom in now i'm going to select at least two then to draw a cycle something like this all right that this color code here the color code is 048DD4. I think this one will be the best. Make it dark. I like 003957. Okay. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. Then select your test tool. And I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select the test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I will change the font color to this color here. Then change the font to England Signature. You can increase it a little like this then i'll position it around here okay then select your test and i'm going to copy this test here the name ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and i'm going to change the font to acrobat then make it bold then ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to white now reduce the size and position it in this ellipse tool okay so that's nice then after this one now then the next one we are going to bring our brush so i will go back to this background here this is the end of our background then i'm going to select create a new layer here then press b or you press on this brush here Then we are going to select brush. So the brush I'm using is here. So this is the brush. Here is the brush. So then go back. And I'm going to make provision for the brush. Then reduce it. Something like this. Then make sure that your background color is white. Now I'm going to apply the brush here. So this is the brush. Okay. So after done this one, then we are going forward to the time and dates. Select your test tool. Come over here to your resource file and bring this icon for dates then come over here while you reduce this size all right then press your ctrl plus u then you click ok to apply this white color all right 
now i'm going to copy my test here ctrl plus c to copy then click on your design and ctrl plus v to paste increase the size a little then ctrl plus j to duplicate it you bring this one down go back to your test then ctrl plus c to copy then highlight this one ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size of this one something like this it's okay then use your arrow key then to move it up all right it's okay then go back to your resource file and import this icon for time reduce the size the control plus u for hue and saturation then while you drag this one to apply white color then go back to your test and copy this one control plus c to copy then duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate then drag it over here drag it over here then while you move it up above this one then select your test to highlight it then control plus v to paste then adjust this one by bringing it down this way something like this it's okay then control plus zero then to see how it look so that is zoom to fit now select your time and date together then control plus g to group it then bring it over here okay then the last one is our location so I'm going to bring this icon for location reduce the size zoom in the control plus u take it to white then go back to your test document then copy the test for location then select your test to control plus v to paste position it this way then zoom out okay now I'm going to apply the drop shadow so here is a drop shadow then continue using this setting so what we are going to do now then is to apply brightness on this image so go to your image go to adjustment brightness then increase this one to somewhere 47 it's okay then and the contrast also increase it 18 is okay then you leave it this way okay then the next thing to do now then i'm going to bring this light here and position it then change it to screen go to your filter then blur Gaussian blur then leave it at this 8.2 or you can make it 5.0 so anyone you want then okay then I will apply layer mask select brush then I will change this brush to soft brush reduce the size then I will go, I'm going to clean around here. Okay. Then if you want, you can increase the size of the lights. Then click OK. Then after this one, so what I'm going to do next, then I'm going to apply light to this place 
then come over here then to apply this one reduce the size take it over here then change it to screen go to filter blur gaussian blur then i'm going to make it 5.2 something like this then i will rotate it this way then this is how it will look now all right so we are done on this thank you so much for watching and remember don't forget to subscribe like and share this video if you like it and the next thing again is if you want any of my graphic design then you can go to my fiber account then and make your order on any of the graphic you want then also if you want to optimize your video then you can check the link there that is to body then create your own account and optimize your youtube channel don't forget if you want to create a fiber account there is a link there also then to enable you create your own fiber account thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all thank you guys